My friend and I, we both have Canon cameras and they lent me this 100mm macro lens to try out. So it's a, a prime lens, it goes down to 2.8 f-stop. Um, very nice for close-up work. Now I also had a delivery of some firewood and this guy showed up. So I'm in South Australia and this is a native centipede. Um, so I put him in a takeaway container uh, with some of the wood chips and leaf litter that he turned up in. I'm outside, um, it's quite overcast. I found with a macro lens you, you really need to kind of get a fair bit of light coming in the lens. So I've compensated a bit and I've increased the ISO on the camera to 400 to boost up the, the levels a bit. Um, my f-stop's sitting around 3.5. It'll go down to 2.8, but the, the um, depth of field gets a little bit hard to keep the focus um, of the moving centipede. So I kind of backed it off to around 3.5. I also set my shutter speed probably quicker than I normally do. So for video, I'd normally set my shutter speed at 100. So it's a multiple of you know 25 frames per second um, in this case I've gone to 200 on the shutter speed which just seems to have sharpened up the image a bit more um, and as you can sort of see it's yeah trying to manually focus and, and track it it's yeah it's it's quite a fine adjustment but good results really happy with the results it looks really good um, so this centipede, so turns out they're not insects. So their centipedes are myelopod. Um, now I've got all this off the Australian Museum website because I don't know this off the top of my head. Um, so it's got a segmented body, um, pair of antenna with breathing holes at the front. So they're not insects, but they do belong to the arthropods with a hard exoskeleton jointed limbs and one pair of legs per body segment. Um, they live in urban areas, forests and woodlands, so probably be more than happy to live at my house, but I'm not. I think I'm going to return it back to the forest. Um, so this species is mostly encountered indoors, they reckon. So they just kind of burrow away and find insects to eat. They're a predator. Pretty cool. Those antenna at the front are pretty awesome. So it turns out that they don't have eyes and so they just rely on the the antennas and vibration and uh, their senses to, to find their way around. So that's pretty cool. So the antenna plus the front and back legs are used to navigate its surroundings and feel for vibrations. As the centipede does not have eyes as such, but more sensory organs that can detect light and dark. Right, so you know if it's under a rock or if it's out, sitting out in the sunshine waiting for a bird to eat it. Uh, their antenna are finely tuned to seek out smaller insects. And the centipede's front legs are an extension of its mouth. This is where the venom glands are located. Right. Yeah, I don't want to be bitten by that. So, healthy distance there. So they reproduce by laying eggs uh, between about 20 to 50. And they like laying eggs in rotten wood where it's warm and humid. So I'm in South Australia, down in Mount Gambia. So we've got quite a few kind of forests and, oh, look at it grabbing that bit of wood. They're pretty. Pretty cool, aren't they? Look, it's grabbing that. Oh wow, check that out. Huh. Trying to trying to build a bit of a build a bit of a nest maybe. 
clump everything back together. That is that is pretty cool. Pretty good, cool being able to see it up that close. Because you know you, you don't appreciate. Oh, look at that. Huh. Yeah, you don't appreciate this stuff unless you see it up close, do you? Um. So centipedes eat spiders and many insects found inside houses, moving quickly and pouncing on their prey. Ugh. They can bite but are considered harmless to humans. Well, hang on, before it said it had venom. <laughs> now it's how well you probably won't die from it if you get bitten, but I bet it'll bloody hurt. And I'm not sticking around to find that out, so we'll um, just enjoy looking at this guy and I'll return him back. Gee, I like how sharp that lens is though, that's, gee, that's getting some good detail. It was a bit of a challenge kind of following him, keeping him in focus, but, uh, you know, there's plenty of usable kind of grabs in there. You can really sort of see those front, that front mouth with the those side kind of leg things. Really interesting stuff. So, you know, if you're getting a load of wood de delivered, maybe, um, yeah, just take your time stacking it up. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure they would run away from you quicker than wouldn't be uh, ready to attack. <laughs> no. Look at that, that is pretty good. South Australian centipede. So I won't, uh, yeah. And that looks like dinner. Huh. Would have been absolutely nuts if the centipede had jumped up and ate it. That didn't happen. But he can, uh, yeah, he can stay in the container. We'll see how long he lasts. I don't even know what that is. There we go. Cool. All right. 100 millimeter macro lens. Awesome.